Hickman, welcome to the Calculables Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nick Snow Calculables. I'm the founder and the director of the Calculables Industry Spy Network and the Calculables Nation. Recently, I have ditched Linux Mint. What you see right now is not Linux Mint with i3. No, no, no. I'm using Cache OS with i3. I also have XFCE for a lightweight desktop environment. And yes, all of this is what you see on screen. Now, I have 1400 packages, which is not a lot. And I'm very glad it's not a lot. Now, in order to test Cachy, I'm gonna go ahead and play some Zonotic. Nothing special here. You know Zonotic. But for those unaware, this is a free Libre open source software, first person shooter, it is a quick one based game using the Dark Places engine. And I have pretty much everything set to, let's actually set everything as high as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything as high as possible as, as needed. Nothing special there, apply all of that immediately because I really wanna test this game with Kashi. Let's go ahead and play a pro bot. We'll do 20 minutes to get 30 frags, instagib, and grappling hook. Nothing special there. But before I do anything, I will go ahead and test it. Let's play this at final rage. And also while I'm at it, I'm going to set it to unlimited, just so I can test out the movement. All right, everything is loaded in. I am using the freedom unit scale today. I will be using over here Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, but I will place an approximate Celsius thing because I do have a calculator I can use. Here we go. Nothing special. And yes, even though I do have it on some pretty high settings right now, the only thing is that I am using a customized, very well customized config file for these types of Dark Places games. I'm not the best, but I could potentially do Pro-Am. Right, not bad at all. Get about 300 frames a second or so. And it's actually extremely surprising. It's extremely surprising. And you want to be, what, probably double that? I can go up to 180 frames a second. So that's really good. But yeah, doing some movement testing here. Nothing special. All right, we are going 300 frames a second. Now, I will probably do something else here. Let's go ahead, go into the settings, go into effects. Let's set them onto ultra as they were originally meant. The original settings for ultra. And here we go. We are going, okay. I'm going actually at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty nasty. Nasty temperatures, give or take. And I'm going 380 frames a second. All right, that's pretty good. Especially for the settings I have. I'll probably get my Zonotic uh, config. I may need to update the Zonotic forms post on it. So yeah, so far so good. Now let's go into high settings. Into the high settings we go. And let's see here. Let's see what we're looking at. Now we're actually getting some good frames, going roughly 500 frames a second, which is kind of what you want, actually. You kind of want that. I'm not dropping frames, it looks like, which is really good if you ask me. So going, what, 170 degrees, give or take, roughly 170. That's like, what, 70 C, something like that, 70 C. That's actually not so bad, all things considered. Let's do some of the more advanced techniques like that. 
Okay. That's actually really good. Um, let's go ahead and set that to normal. If I apply the normal settings almost immediately, I'm going to go up to 180 degrees. So that's going to be what 70 something to 80 degrees, give or take. Now things are getting a little interesting. I'm going roughly 700 frames a second. I'm already getting screen tearing for some reason. All right, so far so good. And again, this is all Cache OS with my i3 config, which has been updated. Should probably have a uh, i3 config specifically designed for Ubuntu base and probably Arch base, maybe Fedora based as well. If I do my, uh, if I do Fedora config, probably Nubara though. But I can't really use Nubara because there are going to be some issues with it. Quite the issues, actually. Alright. So far, so good. Alright. Not bad. 174. So roughly, what, 74, give or take? If I put that to medium. Medium graphic settings. Now we're going to get really out there. Now we're going to get real wacky. I'm going to start stuttering here at about 900 frames a second. So I may need an actual frame limiter. Interestingly enough. And yes, I've been playing this game for a couple years, so... I kind of know what in the world I am doing. Somewhat. I, I would say I am more pro-am, if anything. So I could potentially join a Pro-Am tournament where I could potentially possibly get my butt handed to me, but it would be a valuable learning experience. Now I'm going to go real cray, low settings. Let's do it with the lowest of the low settings. <laughs> All right, now this is going to get absolutely nutty. We're about 900 frames a second or so, which is insanity, I'm not gonna lie. I'll make that up, that's fine. Maybe if I go for like a lower resolution, but with the higher settings, it could potentially work. I'm not entirely sure about it. I am playing at 1440p. But I do record videos at 1080p. I mean, not bad after all. I will take that. Now, let's go as low as possible. Don't show the sky, no decals, no damage effects, no particles, none of that. And Corona, nothing. Nothing on Corona. Here we go. With all of that. <laughs> With all of that, now we're going to go over 800 frames. Probably I saw a high of like 920 frames a second, somewhere around there. 930 frames. Jeez Louise. Okay, then. And plus, I actually have the simple textures. They are literally in my config file, if you want to check that out. I believe it should already be linked below. And I actually want a higher... Probably will want a higher one of these, so... 3.6. But yeah, you get the idea. It's pretty cray. So now, I will go Ultra Effects... And... Not, not that. Have... Everything... Reflections be as sharp as possible, all of that. But then on the video side of things, I'm actually going to go ahead. I do have the high quality frame buffer. So let's go ahead and do the, I'll do the anti-aliasing to 4x. Uh, let's go down to 1920 by 1080. Oh, and it actually sets my, uh, 
That's disgusting. Let's do this again. Oh, boy, was that disgusting. How does it affect my... It does not. Doesn't affect anything. So, now I don't have that. And I don't have the frame buffer. Highest possible stuff. Back down to 300 frames a second. Which is actually pretty much double. It's pretty much double my refresh rate. So that's actually really good. I didn't even think about the effects this would have on my monitor, so... Yeah. No damaging effects or anything, just a uh, little bit of a weird coincidence. A weird coinky dink, if anything. So yeah, we have that. I mean, seems okay. Seems okay for the most part. My movement is not that great though, I will say. My movement is absolutely trash. <laughs> So yeah, I would get absolutely destroyed in a tournament that uh, does incorporate Instagib and whatnot. But yeah, that's the basic idea here. I think I want the normal effects, so we'll do the normal effects. Let's apply these immediately. Keep it the 1440p for me. And then I think I will go ahead Set this down to 2.8. Set that to 2.8. And then let's do 20 minutes, 30 frags, one bot. Let's do a godlike bot and play in a stage I've never played in a while, which is going to be Airbium. Let's play Airbium. <sighs> Instagib, hook, 20 minutes. 30 frags. Whichever comes first. Wish me luck. I mean, this is a godlike bot, so this will bring a challenge. That's for sure. And immediately I get the first frag. First blood, boys. I have a feeling things are gonna go good for me. Not without an uphill battle, though. That's for sure. Again. Why? Why? How did I do that? Well, who cares? Oh, she right there. That was good. I missed. I missed. That was a good shot from the bot. But I've already uh, started pouncing her. Three to one. That'll, that'll be fine. And she's invis and has speed. I was able to find her really easily though. And she immediately, she frags me. Where's she at? Right over here. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm getting cocky now. <laughs> Very cocky. Don't do that. That could, that could result in bad news for you. Uh-oh. Okay, then. Right. Let's go ahead and... Uh-oh. Again! All I had to do was get cocky. All I had to do was get cocky. All I had to do was get cocky, and that was gonna happen. Where's she at? And... I don't have dodging on. That's gonna be a problem. Right hand side. Dang it! Impressive. Really? Now she's going to be invisible, but I can easily see her through that. No. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, this is against a bot, but still. I can get competitive even with a bot. Headshot. Did I just do a flick headshot? Did I just do a flick headshot? 
Don't think I did. Just the timing of that. I mean, I'm going like six, seven hundred frames or something. Uh oh. Dad gum it. That's fine. Uh oh. Yep. I knew that was gonna happen. You may be down by five. That's because I've been rusty, but I don't care. Nice. I'll take it. And yes, I do tend to use Ignis a lot. Because, yeah, I don't like using Arbius. Arbius is just kind of weird. Kind of weird for me. I'd rather be a battle-hardened human than some robot. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. We're good. Here's someone. She's behind. There you go. Down by 10. This could get easy. If it's not for the fact that I'm still... And I messed that up pretty bad. Messed it up pretty bad. Uh-oh. Okay, that was pretty good. I didn't see her there. So that's my fault. Gotcha. There you are. Ooh, muscle twitch. That's not good. Little muscle twitch. I don't have that muscle memory, so... Alright. Alright. Uh-oh. Alright, yeah, I, I didn't, uh... That was a good translucency. You did not... <laughs> You were not seen by me, so... Whoops! That's not what I intended to do. Nice. I'll take it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. I didn't react fast enough to that. And again! How? What in the world was that, bot? That was good, though. Not gonna lie. But still... I didn't see her coming from behind there. Oops. Finally. Uh-oh. Honestly, I deserve that. I deserve that. Down by 10. Dang it. At the very least, I can make that potentially down by 30. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll work. This is probably the setting I'm going to use. And I think that should do it. However, I am out of time for today's video. Just testing Cache OS with Zenotic. Thank you, and good night.